in total i have only one line to say for your feedback very well spoken absolutely fluent english you have you have very good pronunciation good command over grammar good command over sentence formation narration of thoughts very well done and but i would just say one thing so i think it talks about is it better to buy local products is there something um that's the correct topic? local production and small business but it's okay if you've not uh, checked or you've not gone through the topic because i believe you can give better answers if you don't prepare yourself before that so okay. let's start then so do you buy things locally oh yes um i think uh, yeah uh, buying things locally is, is really important for everyone and it's beneficial as well and i do buy local stuff um uh, especially um the vegetables and then uh, some of the grocery materials as well okay. and uh, why because uh, local if you if you buy local products right you are somehow uh, boosting uh, your local economy right right, right. and right. then you get fresh fruit fresh food and fruits as well right uh, yeah and it does not take a lot of time to uh, you know to trans the products are not in the, in the transit for a longer period of time and uh, uh, somehow um, so and again you are you are generating revenues for your local community i suppose you are buying local products uh, you are uh, boosting your your local e- economy you are letting people your farmers um uh, you know grow with the time right right correct and, and uh, and there are so many advantages i believe um so uh i think this can definitely uh, be a good option and to buy local instead of you know buying products and to promote are... local market right yeah. correct so correct. what kind of things do you buy locally local products are basically uh, uh like i mentioned uh, fruits and vegetables so what about and, diyas and all during diwali do you buy those chinese lights or you oh, buy yes. that uh, yes uh mitti ka diya and all that absolutely uh that's something which is uh, which is um, our, our traditional stuff right so we right. buy diyas uh, made of uh, this molds right and uh, it looks prettier again uh, if you buy electronic diyas or probably some something which is made of plastics uh from china all the way from china and you know, other countries right you are somehow uh, not boosting your economy uh, particularly so buying beer from a local vendors uh, is somehow you are letting those people flourish or earn right. some money on this occasion so yeah certainly i right. i buy those products locally right yes ma'am so have you had earthen pots water water from earthen pot that's mitti ka ghada have you ever had water from earthen pot uh i had yes uh not recently but i remember you know the days when during uh, childhood probably yeah in childhood yes and uh, oh, okay yeah the water uh, i'll tell you uh, with my experience is that the water remained cooler um i think uh really? not as that's right yeah not as uh, cooler as it is in you know if it, if it is a refrigerator free, right refrigerator right but yes i mean it is something which probably soothe your uh, uh, uh taste in everything it basically quenches your thirst and i think refrigerator water is too cold to quench your thirst this is exactly. what i believe because if it gets exactly. extremely cold you might feel nice for a second but again you'll feel thirsty that does Correct. not give you that satisfaction of uh, you know that it has a really quenched your thirst that does not happen with that so that uh, it is there possible right okay let me add um, is it your opinion yeah. what do you what do you think about it no, even i believe the same it. thing even i believe the same thing i remember like i give an example about earthen pot itself i believe uh, this earthen pot you know it it really not only quenches your thirst if a person is not well and they're not allowed to have refrigerator water you just give that uh, earthen pot water they feel so nice and it's good for your stomach as well it 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 right. really you know it really gives good nutrients to your body that you know all that mud nutri- nutrients it really gets into your body because of that water and about now uh, these uh, earthen diyas and all if i speak about uh, earlier i remember we used to like diyas with uh, oil with like putting oil in it and all that or ghee whatever you want to put in it but these chinese lights have done this with that people have their workload has reduced they don't have to prepare so many diyas for the whole house 
and yeah. yes uh, undoubtedly one thing i would say diaz do create a little bit of pollution with the smoke coming out of the fire that is a problem but i think once in a year if you're doing it it would not make a big change it would not matter so much uh, because these chinese lights have captured such a huge market in india that people are least bothered to do anything now nowadays those you must have seen led candles right again that's a right. chinese thing i, I would really right. prefer not to buy any such thing because if you can light dia every day in your temple when you do your prayers why not once during diwali or gurpurab when these uh, sick people they celebrate any festival i think it's always good to do that wonderful absolutely that's right but is it not too complicated when it comes comes to executing this noble thought uh particularly like if you can say by an example like all of this local markets uh, supporting local market because nowadays i have seen people prefer buying you know apples also they want australian apples they want american apples they don't want to buy himachal apples whereas himachal apples are more tastier than you know any australian or american apple they uh, right. no doubt australian american apple are there is one point they are too expensive i agree but money cannot buy that taste what you get in your indian apples this is what i believe so for, if 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 given my i would never uh, buy any kind of foreign stuff i would love to buy where i am staying right now the point don't you think that we actually compromise with the quality i mean if if it is being transported from all the way from australia or say from different countries right you 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 would you won't be able to figure figure out you know how many days it's actually required in order to reach to your destination right? exactly and you right. never know that uh, you know the how much quality has been compromised and the the ones it right. is it is in, in your table it is on the right. table you know so by the time it has already been i think uh, the quality has been jeopardized or destroyed already by the time being you probably right probably so, right so, so uh, it looks good and attractive but that's actually not the quality has already yeah. been compromised okay. so one should also understand it and uh, uh, yes and uh, again boost the local economy and boost the local uh, uh, markets again yeah right because nowadays people have come into that idea they formed that idea that we can eat any fruit in any season but where does i believe seasonal fruits are always good for your body because Absolutely. that's the cycle of the nature you just cannot uh, if you're trying to ruin that if you're trying to you know completely take over the nature cycle so obviously some in nature will show show that reaction whereas i think nature has been showing that in the last so many years now right everything so is now in the vegetables different type of vegetables that that, yeah, that are that's being grown, which is which is under the greenhouse right, right. is, there, is there, there is there is a uh, artificial climate being created and right. then the the fruits and vegetables are grown within that conditions which right. might not be the you know as nutritious, nutritious as they are as right as nutritious right. as valuable right, right. so once you right. consume those there is there's the, it's it's but natural that you, you know that you will end up uh, having a lot of diseases so right. so as a result we do see that our kids are not that healthy what we were we are not that healthy what our Even parents were the great parents were there yes yeah that's right so you know generation wise everything is changing our body is changing things are changing like anything because i remember earlier i don't think so if you uh, have uh, if you ever came to know or your parents must have heard that a woman is not able to bear a baby or women is not able to bear a baby they are going for that procedure but this issue has become so common why stress eat like your food whatever you are eating is not pure so many things have really really hampered i would say our life cycle many things Absolutely. so what women kind of tend small... to stay at home and they don't do not want to do a lot of physical stuff right physical right. exercise has has been probably out from their daily activities that's, so that's correct that's, that's correct probably one of the reasons you know why women go for all surgery and everything mm. and the doctor yeah, says for surgery instead of we can say that of, uh, yeah now you must have heard about gluten allergy we oh, yes. grew up eating we grew up eating wheat 
So we have been eating wheat since sages, and suddenly we are developing gluten allergy. So imagine what has what is left in our mud, the earth, like uh, nothing. It means there are no nutrients. It's more of pesticides. It's more of infection left in every uh, probably grain seed that we're eating. Slowly, people will develop allergy from rice also. So we will be left with nothing to eat then probably. Exactly. So that is going exactly. to happen very soon, I think. Right. So, okay. Now, what kind of small businesses do you know of? Ah, I, I would certainly, again, like to give you an example of those, those local vendors, right? They develop, they, they grow or... Uh, vegetables in the local market so their, their mm -hmm. fills and they bring it directly to you to you to your to your dining table right so it hardly right. takes probably a couple of days uh, right. uh, to reach to your table that's one right. thing and the second thing is must be knowing that india ranks number one when that comes to milk production so milk consumption it's, production, day right. day it's growing like anything and right. the milk producers are something which are uh, again uh, Providing, they're doing their best and they are uh, making your life easier. There, you're able to procure those milks easily. Those milk easily, uh, probably. Yeah, I mean, you must have heard a lot of companies are coming up in order to provide you the fresh milk. Earlier, we right. didn't have. Talk about the other uh, other uh, uh, brands that that were there. They were not claiming such uh, such uh, such things that you will you'll be getting a fresh milk. So right. that's something which is uh, again an initiative by the local vendors. Which will pro help, which helps provide you uh, the better and nutritious. Pure milk, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Absolutely, sure. right. Something like A2 milk or A1 milk, because milk from high breed cows or uh, uh, Jersey cows, which are not Indian cows, they that's not a pure milk. That's that milk is a, itself is. I don't know, there is some kind of hormones or something like that. And that's the reason milk that we're getting from local cows, it's it's very expensive than what Amul charges. What Amul charges, though Amul itself is an Indian plant, it has uh, its plant in Gujarat, but their consumption is so high, it's in, uh, it's in India and it's outside India as well. Though they're not providing this uh, packet behind, so God only knows what exactly they're doing to increase that kind of consumption, right? That's right. Right. Okay. So, um, what are the benefits of? I think you shared this with me. The benefits of buying locally from small businesses. So, I'll skip to this question now. Is it more expensive to buy from small businesses? I don't think so, uh, unless you buy the organic material, food, right, or organic products. That might cost you a little higher. But if you go go for uh, buying general stuff, you know, the normal thing. I think it's way cheaper than, uh, uh, you know, when you buy from the branded groceries or international groceries. Why? Because, you know, whenever thing, you know, products that come from a different part of the world or India, say, uh, the time it takes and the cost it, inv you know, involved into it, the packaging it, you know, it involves, right? It, the, all the costs are being uh, probably included into it once you buy those products. When you, but however, when you buy those uh, local products, it you wouldn't find you know a lot of money involved into the packaging. You, you it does not mm. take a lot of time. Money involved into the transiting of the materials and the products. So anyhow, if you go buy the, these technicalities, you'll find these products cheaper. I believe unless you buy you know, unless you go for organic uh, products that might cost Absolutely. you a little higher. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. So if you could if you could start a small business, which would it be? Small business uh, would be something uh, related to milk. I think milk production is again, which is which is in my mind. You know, even if I, you know, if I have to go back to my home, right? Uh, I have my own fields, and if I somehow if I am uh, I retire, say probably from my all uh, uh, corporate responsibilities, jobs responsibilities, right? Yeah, corporate jobs and everything. I, I do responsibilities. Yeah, I'll go back and I'll start uh, milk production. And that's that's something very profitable and that you could probably do wonders. Very true. Right, very true. Where are you from, uh, Ravish? I am from Bhagalpur, Bihar. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. So how has the pandemic affected small businesses? Indeed. Uh, I mean, it has like... Uh, jeopardized everything. I mean, talk about the small business, talk about the larger business in sense, right? I mean, everything has been, has got affected by this pandemic. Mm. 
um i mean it is now re- started reviving uh, sort of huh. but earlier uh, the major portion of it, portion of it was was badly affected um hmm. why because you know people were were kind of reluctant you know buying those products you never know you know what kind of contaminations are there what what kind of you know uh uh on those products when you buy them up right people were very very reluctant in buying all 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 of those even if you if you provide them with greater or of the products which are of high quality but people were not right. easily accepting all of those so right. um yeah and then commu- then the the commute i mean the products were not being reached to your destinations quite easily right and everything everything was uh, on on a standstill position so so right. likewise i mean what i'm saying, trying to say is that definitely i mean it has got hampered our business has got hampered uh, right. spent, yeah right okay now let me give you feedback or else the session will get over at any time sure. so sure. i did not stop you because in total i have only one line to say for your feedback very well spoken absolutely fluent english you have you have very good pronunciation good command over grammar good command over sentence formation narration of thoughts very well done and but i would just say one thing that whatever you're doing and if you're not doing anything just keep practicing the same with reading or watching anything in english you know so that this fluency maintains that you don't stop anywhere otherwise there's nothing that i can you know point out right now that this is wrong and you have to correct this or correct that it's absolutely fine absolutely very well Thank spoken and it was good to have session after such a long time even i've got a very good learner with whom i was able to enjoy the session it was very nice very very well spoken and, and indeed thank you so much